My route today begins at the Studland Bay car park on the Dorset coast. After following numerous footpaths and country lanes, I enter Studland Heath National Nature Reserve and arrive at the 400 tonne rock known as the Agglestone. The route then follows well-defined tracks and paths back to the village of Studland and past the tiny village shop at the crossroads. A short detour leads me to the beautiful Norman Church of St Nicholas before joining the southwest coast path which leads me in a straight line all the way to the spectacular Old Harry Rocks. From here I backtrack along the southwest coast path, turning right past the Banks Arms Inn and make my way to Fort Henry, a superbly preserved lookout station from World War II. Having quickly left the houses of Studland behind me, I'm already out into the countryside on the edge of Studland Heath National Nature Reserve. A left turn takes me up into the heathland and along a meandering path through gorse and heather to reach one of the most spectacular inland natural features in Dorset, the Agglestone, a 400 tonne sandstone boulder. Legend has it that the devil himself threw the rock from the needles on the Isle of Wight with the intention of hitting nearby Corfe Castle, Bindon Abbey or Salisbury Cathedral. The views from the rock extend northeast for miles, with most of Poole Harbour and the coastal towns of Bournemouth and Christchurch clearly seen. The path continues southwest, almost as far as the golf course, before turning left and following a track back towards Studland Village. Country lanes lead you to the crossroads by the tiny village shop with plenty of snacks available to top up supplies. Just past the shop is a detour to the village church of St Nicholas. The church dates from the Norman period and is worth a quick look to see the beautiful stonework and arches within the tower. As I leave Studland for the second time I join the South West Coast Path. The going is very simple and this is one part of the walk where you are guaranteed the company of other walkers. The route to Old Harry is as popular as ever thanks to the peaceful and tranquil setting. On the south side of Old Harry are the Pinnacles, two amazing chalk sea stacks, but the eye is always drawn across the crashing waves to Old Harry Rocks. The rocks mark the very edge of the UNESCO Jurassic Coast World Heritage Site, which stretches from the current position all the way to Exmouth in Devon. Having backtracked along the southwest coast path, I pass the Banks Arms Inn, a beautiful 16th century inn and situated just a few minutes from the end of the walk, 
making it a perfect place to stop and have some food before journeying on to the last feature, Fort Henry. The Grade 2 listed bunker overlooks the whole of Studland Bay and with its three foot thick concrete walls was built to withstand significant gunfire in the event of invasion. From the fort, it's a short walk through trees back to the car park. 